it is way too late in the day for me to be looking like this. My holy PJs, which I only wear when I am in like the biggest funk of my life. And I've been in the biggest funk of my life, but I'm gonna try to get out of it today. So this video is a get my life together with me. I just got a call from my doorman that I have flowers downstairs. I have no idea who sent them, but that is enough to get me out of my apartment. So I'm gonna get ready and then I'll just start. I'm gonna basically clean my whole house, do a ton of things that I've been meaning to do, get myself looking better, feeling better. And if you're in a funk, this might be the video for you. So watch along with me. Hopefully I can pull it off because something's gotta change. which I feel like you do when you came from Instagram because I'm sure I posted this on my story. I am Claire. I am a content creator. I'm an interior designer. I'm an artist. And I basically do a lot of stuff, but it all involves sharing my life online and my projects online, mostly on TikTok and Instagram. I'm trying to see the bright side today. And I think that the band, you know, it might not happen, but if it does, I'll be okay. Like I've worked really hard and I have a lot of creative skills that I have kind of like honed through TikTok. So there's always going to be a way and I'm going to try to see the positive today. Practice some gratitude. Not grateful for this acne. What can you do? One thing to be grateful for is I got these fake eyelashes yesterday at the drugstore and I don't know how I never knew about them before, but you just stick them on your eyes and they're just like peel and stick. I'll show you. They're amazing. This is the Huda Hada Beauty Blush Stick. Someone told me that now my hair is cooler. I should be using like a baby pink toned blush. And this isn't quite baby pink, but I'm using more blush than bronzer these days. And I think it's looking really pretty. The stuff is very natural looking, which I like. I got all this Joa Beauty stuff at the drugstore yesterday and I was so excited about it because it said like Korean beauty and I thought it was like a company from Korea and I was like, oh my God, they make the best stuff. I'm really excited. I get home and I see that it's made by KISS products. Everything is like owned by someone and it's kind of annoying. Like I got so excited that I actually like found something special. My phone's ringing and I probably won't get it. Um, I have ADHD. If you follow me on other platforms, you know that. And I don't know if it's that or being antisocial, but I don't like talking to people. And I love my friends. Sometimes they just, they just call me. They know that I won't pick up and then I'll call them. <laughs> When I feel like it and I know that's horrible and in a lot of ways I'm not a good person when it comes to like friendships and stuff and the ones that have lasted they don't take it personally because they know I just like get overstimulated and can't chat and they're really good about it so I'm very thankful for my friends but I don't know who was calling me it could have been my doorman okay so these are the lashes yesterday I put them on and they kind of irritated my eye by the end of the day so I'm gonna put them higher up on my lash and see how that goes you just stick it on here Ah, and then you use this. I mean, come on, that was so easy. And then look, you just get this little like wing. I might just do these today, like one on each end. I did a ton yesterday and it looked really good, but it hurt my eyes. Ah, okay. Ooh. Like why did, uh, fuck. Why didn't no one tell me that this was a thing? Do you guys do this? Is this a thing that like all the hot girls are doing and I just never knew? Ooh, so cute. Okay, don't look at my kitchen. I told you I need to get my life together, but I just wanted on my package and it's definitely enough to brighten my day. I don't know who it's from. It's this cute bag, I'm guessing it's PR. It says Rifle Paper Company. It's this very cute little tote, like beach tote, meshy tote. And there's flowers inside. And they're so beautiful. Oh my God. <gasps> ah, okay, I can't wait to open these. Here, I see some ranunculus and ooh, phlox, so pretty. Okay, so the tote has a little thingy to carry things in and then there's two bags and a card. Gillette Venus. Oh yeah, okay, I knew there's Gillette, Venus, and Rival Paper Company have teamed up to introduce a new shave collection. Um, that's crazy. 
collab I did not see coming. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I like never have razors. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, okay, I feel like I need to show you this better. So this is bag number one. It's like stocked. I also really like, ah, shit. I like these tote bags that they came in. They're like, definitely gonna reuse those. Um, okay, let's go. We got a razor that is really pretty. Heads. Um, more, I think. Well, it's like a mini. It's like a mini razor. Okay. Shave cream. I never buy that. More of these. I think these are the same. I don't know. Okay, what's well, this? Caramel wax. Oh, I will never do that, but let's see what it looks like. I'll give this to my doorman's wife. Oh, it's like a waxing kit. Okay. I mean, maybe it would be good to try. It's so cute that it's rifle. Like, obviously, I love anything aesthetic, and if it's, you know, if it works, that's good, too. Okay. And the next one, this looks more like rifle, rifle vibes. I love rifle paper company. Always have. I love notebooks. <gasps> This makes me so happy. It's really pretty pens. It's really pretty pens. Okay. Stationary. That's so cute. Okay. I'm going to stop saying okay. I say okay the same amount that I say like. It's I use it as like a tick. As like a tick. Okay. See? What's wrong with me? I need to be brain zapped or like something. Okay. Social stationary. 12 notes and envelopes. Beauteous. And then notebooks. Wait, I, there's three of them. I need to see the print. That brands are outdoing themselves lately. And it's so springy and making me happy. All right, we have this one. So pretty. Oh, obsessed with this. And obsessed with this one. I like the lighter. <gasps> That's so cute. What a fun, smart collab. All right. <laughs> Okay, this is so beautiful. It's inspiring me to clean my kitchen. Look at this mess. All right, it's time. I'm gonna start cleaning. Step one, declutter. Step two, dishes. I really don't wanna do them, but here we go. lashes because I'm gonna do a TikTok and I was feeling really hot and now that brings us to step number three which is the deep clean let's go I got these reusable um, paper towel type things from the Drew Barrymore Grove collab when I met her oh I'll never get over that um, so I'm gonna clean with these I'm trying to use these instead of paper towels because they're way better for the environment and then this is Chris Jenner's clean why do I only have like celebrity cleaning products but this is safely by Chris Jenner but again it's like all organic good for you environment good for you good for the environment um stuff that's not going to cause cancer even though I'm probably gonna get it some other way some other way <laughs> I never follow through, it's so bad. Like he will cook and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll clean later tonight and then it doesn't happen and then it's the next morning and I haven't cleaned and then it'll be nighttime and it's my turn to cook and then I have to clean up two days later because I need to have a clean space to cook. So that's kind of how it works. But anyways, he did not clean last night. That's okay because I never do. And I made, um, we had duck, which sounds really bougie, a lot bougier than we are, but we got it at the farmer's market and it was really bad. So we saved it and I'm, we're gonna have it with a sauce tonight. Oh, it smells bad. I'm not not embarrassed that I'm out of breath from 
Who's calling you? My dad. Hi, dad. Wait, say that again. I can't hear you. What's that? Say that again. Do you have just a couple seconds? Yeah. Okay, so I talked to Darren. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's awesome. That's um, awesome. What he also recommended, he's doing the same thing. I'm gonna... I have all these cleaning products over in this corner, and I use a lot of them every day, but I don't like how jumbled they look. So I'm gonna put together a little tray here where I can just keep my go-tos. When you consolidate things, it makes them look a lot less cluttered. Just simply the act of putting things down on a tray for me and clustering them together in a contained way on a tray makes them feel a lot more put together than just out in the open. <laughs> I end up always redecorating. I already have a hole here, so I'm just gonna stick in the nail. Good enough. Cutie. All right, so we are all neat and tidy in here. The last thing that I wanna do in the kitchen before I do my fridge restock is take care of this calendar that I bought and I haven't written anything in. So I just grabbed a bunch of invites and random cards that I have, saved the dates, and I'm gonna go through and add those to this calendar. <laughs> the fridge and we'll see to the Daisy Jones soundtrack and I will show you what I did. Okay, time for a mental health walk with the dogs. I'm calling this a mental health walk when I literally just have to take my dogs out. So I thought we would unbox them. I'll probably just do like music over it because I'm listening to Daisy Jones and I don't want to take it off and I can't hear myself talk. Oh my God, my voice. Hi, it's future Claire here. I'm doing an unboxing of PR. This is Lisey Lurch. They sent some beautiful this stuff. This charm bracelet I actually picked out because it is so cute. I've always wanted one. My grandma had one like this. And then some earrings, really cute earrings. And then this isn't PR, it's really boring. It's just a hard drive because I need to back up all of my stuff and all of my devices are full and I heard that was the best one. And then Wild One sent some PR. Really aesthetic, beautiful dog bowls. Obviously I have two dogs and that just makes it complicated. I feel like I always need three bowls down, which is kind of annoying because I need a water and then two foods. And then they sent a map, but I was like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna fit. Um, oh, and then I ordered this antique. Um, I think it's from like the 1940s, but I'm not sure. Bunny, because I'm obsessed with bunnies lately. I don't know what has come over with me but the bunny obsession is real right now so I'm going to put it up in my kitchen. Okay, now I need to recycle everything that I got today. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, Jesus fuck. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm coming in with a voiceover. I don't know how people blur out their addresses on YouTube, so I just found this stupid selfie of myself. It's the only way I know how to edit in, like, blocking out This is address. also the first time I've had a view of what my dogs do while I am outside, and Puffin is so cute. He's just waiting for me. And then Chowder, of course, is, like, trying to eat the protein powder I just got. They're very much angel and demon energy. Like, when I think about the angel and devil on your shoulders, Puffin is the angel and Chowder is the devil. And now I'm just refilling their dog food. Super boring, but hey, content creators have to do boring right, shit well, too. I just showed you refilling my dog food, so that is boring enough. I'm going to show you another boring thing, which is taking out the trash. I hate doing this. Do you guys hate doing this? Who doesn't hate doing this? Okay, so I'm going to show you another boring thing. Okay, next up is my living room. It is disgusting and I'm gonna clean it up now. This is what happens when you own a home decor company and sell pillows. You have thousands and thousands of pillows. They have way more pillows than the average person should have, but that's because I sell them and I need to have them in my home to show them off. And I also love them. Like I, if I continue selling pillows, which I hope I do, imagine what this living room right. is gonna look like. It's a lot cleaner in here and now it's going on 6 p.m. and I haven't even started like what I wanted to do today which was editing videos for TikTok. I did some work because I filmed but cleaning just took forever. Is my crafting cart and I am so embarrassed by it. Usually it's my pride and joy and I keep it really organized but these past few weeks I've been in a slump whatever you guys know. So I'm going to reorganize it now and I'm going to watch Bravo. I'm just catching up with Hannah here in the beginning. This is obviously a really atypical day for me and I have not done enough work, but she is working from home on the website and things that we need done and I love her for that. If this cart is not organized, I really feel like creatively I'm a mess and I go to this cart whenever I need like inspiration. So it was really good to get it cleaned up. Okay, that took so long, but I'm so happy. I have it all organized. I have my stickers in one bin. I have my label maker and all the tape together. Scissors, I have an empty area. Another empty area for things that I'm probably going to start adding. I need to organize the books. But um, my gifting suite here with all of my cards and wrapping stuff. And then down here, my planning section, which just has all my extra journals and planners. Really organized. Yay! And now I am watching Vanderpump Rules. Okay, getting ready for bed. I'm going to put that on and then we're going to watch the last episode of the show we're watching in bed. Thank you guys for watching this. I am really excited to upload it. Um, here I am just putting on my night cream and doing my wind down. Overall, this was such a good day. I did have some feelings of guilt that I wasn't getting editing done or work done, but I say this to my little team of two, which means to me and Hannah, that sometimes it's way more productive to rest and focus on yourself than to actually be like grinding and doing work. I recognize that I am extremely privileged that I am able to do this on a Tuesday. I will say that most Tuesdays absolutely do not look like this and I work pretty much seven days a week so it's really important that I do just take a day and tell myself I need to focus on my personal life and I know that most of you who are watching this need to show up to work on a Tuesday and be really productive because their livelihood depends on it but I hope that you're able to take some inspiration from this video whether it is taking a night to focus on yourself or taking a Saturday or Sunday if you're a mom maybe it means having your spouse take the kids for a day or your parents or a do a little bit of self-love focus on your creative projects that bring you passion and joy and subscribe to my channel so that i am motivated to make more of these if you like them